In today's mobility training tip, I'll be sharing a great hip mobility exercise that you can add to one of my previous videos that it's actually very simple, but I've been adding it to my training protocol and it's honestly been paying off in huge, uh, huge leaps and bounds for me. It pretty much puts us in this basic 90-90, which is considered 90-90 because of the 90 degree angle that our legs are in. Then we're supposed to our hands here, okay? Tall, round, through our lower back here. Not just slouching here, we're, we're up, chin tucked. Now here, think about your foot, your back foot, if you can maybe walk in a little closer. If you're walking just a little closer, Bob. You have a tendency to point this foot, okay? We want a strong, active hook like we are when we're in jiu-jitsu or any sport for that matter. To have you know, a good heel strike when you run, you want to have your toes come toward your shin, engaging your shin muscle here, okay? You can push your big toe side down, but your pinky toe side comes up, pushing heel down. Then you're over here wide, chest is up, engaging that lower lat, upper shoulder is relaxed here. Think about now pushing your knee, your inner thigh, the whole inner part of your leg, your big toe side of your foot, mashing it into the ground. Very similar that we did on when we're on the block, but instead of just mashing our foot, we're mashing the knee here, okay? Do that five to ten seconds or so. Then relax and use this hand push to try to bring your center of gravity from maybe being over this way to trying to bring it more level over your hips. And so then again, you push down, inner part of your leg, knee, and what you're trying to do, you're trying to get this part of your hip more flat, the inner part of the thigh to be closer to being on the ground. And you relax that to five to 10 seconds, you push your center of gravity more over your hips. You can probably see where I've shifted a little bit. It's earlier in the morning, so my hips aren't as uh, receptive yet, but you know, you can have points of your day where you're all the way out here, but then you do this work, you get further and further over your center of gravity, makes your low back work better, makes your hips work better. And the foot, the foot here, this is a crucial, crucial detail that a lot of people miss, okay? So focus on bringing the toes to your shin. Front knee, people will have a tendency to be here. Make sure why you want, you, want, you would like to eventually be able to sit here like this, where we do this type of work, where we hold, do isometric contractions. We'll get into that. Now let's look at the, the other side, because I want you to do both sides personally, and you probably need to find out what side is your weaker side. Like for me, I need to do more work on the other side that I was on. Still, I need to hit work on this side right here. Again, push the hand, push legs down, strong contraction, get a little tension there, then relax it. <clears throat> and always we're breathing through our lower belly, lower, lower belly breathing helps to open the hips. If that's tight and stifled, tightness is going to ensue in that area of our body. That's our training tip for the day. It's a new year. Hopefully, it can be a time for you to be a new you, taking this, taking that, things you can add to your routine to have more movement autonomy, more vitality, and to perform better in your life. That's what I'm seeking to share with you. Hope this helps. Check the ebook below. Channel support means a lot. Have a good day, guys. Peace.